Next, let's uh, do this example where uh, the first step is to define voltages of interest, and I'm going to define a voltage V1 at the top of the capacitor. And then we already mentioned that there are two loop currents, I1 and I2, so that the current going down through the capacitor would be I1 minus I2. That was step one. Step two is we want to uh, apply our loop uh, uh, KVL equations. Starting at the bottom left, we would have 0 minus E, and then E to V1, and then from V1 to uh, 0 is equal to 0. Uh, the loop, uh, if we apply the element laws, we end up with I1 times R1 is the voltage drop across the first resistor, and then we have 1 over C1S times the voltage drop I1 minus I2 through the uh, capacitor. For loop 2, starting at the bottom left again, uh, 0 minus V1 plus V1 minus VO plus VO minus 0 is equal to 0. The voltage drop across our capacitor is the same as what we had before, except this time we're going in the opposite direction. So then we've got I2 minus I1. Uh, and then we have I2 times R2 plus another I2 times R2 is equal to 0. Why don't we combine the I2 terms, 1 over C1S plus 2R2 multiplied by I2. That's going to be equal to 1 over C1S times I1. So uh, this means that we can uh, immediately eliminate I1 if we like. Uh, I1 is just equal to, if I multiply both sides by C1S, I get 2R2C1S plus quantity 1 multiplied by I2. Let's plug that into our top equation for the loop 1. And what we end up with is minus E plus, uh, first I'll just collect the terms for I1. So that's R1 plus 1 over C1S uh, minus 1 over C1S times I2 is equal to 0. So what we end up with, I'm going to move the E over R1 plus 1 over C1S times I1, which is 2R2C1S plus 1 times I2 minus 1 over C1S I2 is equal to E. If I uh, combine all of the terms quickly, 2R1, R2, C1, S, plus R1, plus 2R2, plus 1 over C1, S, uh, minus 1 over C1, S, all multiplied by I2 is equal to E. Now some of these terms cancel, and then uh, if I add everything up, I think we already have this in differential equation form, which would be 2R1, R2, C1 times I2 dot plus R1 plus 2R2 times I2 is equal to E. This gives us our differential equation where we are interested in the current I2 going through uh, the resistor.